Remember in the early 2000s when Heelys used to be the coolest things? All the cool kids wanted to have Heelys. In this video, I'll be designing and 3D printing my own Heelys attachments for my shoes from scratch. And at the end, I'll be taking them out for a test ride. So I started off by tracing my shoes and importing that image into Fusion 360. I wanted to make it so the Heelys attachment connects to the sole of the shoe. So I basically 3D modeled my shoe's sole. Next, I 3D modeled the axle and the wheel. So the wheel has two standard skateboard bearings inside of it. To make the wheel, I sketched out the profile and used the revolve function in Fusion 360. Here you can see me adjusting the curvature of the wheel. So with the wheels being a little bit large, it means the heels will be pretty big, um, but that is one of the compromises that I'll have to make for this project. So I think I designed the wheel to be a little bit bigger than the normal Heelys wheel, but I did this to make it easier to go over any bumps or cracks in the road. Once the wheel was finished, I designed the housing around the wheel and the sole of the shoe. I'll be printing the wheel out of TPU and the housing is going to be printed out of PLA. So it's not the strongest material, but I think if I use the correct settings in my slicer, I think we could get the housing to be pretty strong. I decided to slice and print the part upside down because that'll have the simplest support structure. The axle is an eight millimeter rod, so I wanted to make sure that it could snap into place. After some quick modifications, the housing was ready to be 3D printed. So once again, I'll be 3D printing the wheel out of TPU. And I have to decide how stiff I want the wheel to be. I could change the number of perimeters or I could change the density of the infill. So by controlling those two things, I could control how stiff the wheel actually is. For this first attempt, I went with seven perimeters and a 40% infill. So at this point, the housing had finished 3D printing. So it's time to take it off the bed and test it out. So it actually fit onto the shoe really well, a little bit tight, but the sole could actually squeeze in a little bit and that allows the piece to fit on really snug. And that metal rod actually counteracts the pressure on the sole, so you actually have a really good solid connection. The TPU printed perfectly. I did make sure to print very slow, that way I had no issues at all with the extrusion. And with that, it was time for the first test. So I did have an issue right away. The 40% infill was actually not enough and it allowed the wheel to squish in too much, which caused a lot of extra friction and did not allow the wheel to roll very well. So I think what I'll do is I'll increase the infill to 100% and print a solid TPU wheel. Besides that, it actually felt fine on my foot and the housing seems to work just fine. Here you can see the wheel actually squishing underneath the pressure of my weight. Both housings and both wheels didn't finish printing until later that night and it was raining, but I decided to test them out anyways, just for proof of concept and it did work. So I did end up breaking one of the housings um, along those top flanges that stick out. So what I did here was I just beefed up everything a little bit and made it a lot stronger. I also added some fillets and I added some chamfers everywhere just to soften up the look a little bit because it is a little bit sharp. I also added some branding as well. And 
with that, I threw it back into the slicer and this time I sliced it to be a lot stronger. I added more perimeters and a denser infill. And here you can see where the part broke and of course it broke along the layer lines because that's where 3D prints break. And I could change the orientation of the part to get better layer adhesion in certain directions. But I do like having that strong um, horizontal strength um, holding the wheel in. So at this point I had both solid wheels and you can see how they assemble here. Just the 8mm rod and the two standard skateboard bearings. I designed the snapping mechanism for the axle to be pretty strong. So it does require a lot of force to get the axle to go into the housing. So it's actually really easy to put the housing onto a shoe. You just place it on like this. And if you squeeze the top part of the sole, it actually just clips right into place. And this is designed for my specific shoe, but I chose to design it with Vans because a lot of people already own Vans. So after all that, I was pretty excited to try them on and see if they would actually work. It was actually pretty fun to try out because it brought me back to the days when I used to ride these around the supermarket. So as you can see the attachable Heelys was a big success and it was actually snowing in this shot and they're actually not too uncomfortable and they're really easy to print and they're really quick and it's really cool that you can actually 3D print the wheels and the housing itself. I am definitely looking forward to doing more projects like this in the future. Take care and happy printing. <laughs>